it may look as though I'm in the heart of Broadland countryside, but in fact, I'm right on the edge of the city of Norwich. Welcome to Norfolk Wildlife Trust Thorpe Marshes, our first urban nature reserve. Among the habitats we protect at Thorpe Marshes is known as freshwater grazing marsh. Grazing marshes occur where the land is too wet for other forms of agriculture and through centuries of being grazed by traditional breeds of livestock, they've become wonderfully diverse habitats, rich in specialist wetland plants including yellow flag iris and purple loose strife, meadow sweet and the water mint that I can smell at my feet. As a result, they've become home to many animal species as well, including harvest mice, and their nesting habitat for sedge warblers, grasshopper warblers, and also the reed bunting. Through the introduction of improved drainage and nitrate fertilizers in the 20th century, grazing marshes were lost on a massive scale. So every acre we can protect is precious. The ditches that in Norfolk we know as dikes that crisscross the marsh were created historically to drain the marsh and make it good grazing habitat for cattle in the summer. However, they've become really important habitat for wildlife in their own right. Many rare wetland plants grow in them, including the water soldier that's growing right by my feet. As a result, they're also home to a host of insects, including a diversity of dragonflies. And this is a great site for seeing our wonderful Norfolk hawker. However, perhaps the most charismatic of the species that people come to see at Thorpe Marshes is the water vole. The third of the habitats we protect at Thorpe Marshes is the open water of St Andrew's Broad. Though it's named a broad as though it were one of the Norfolk Broads, in fact, this is a modern gravel digging. In no time, though, it's become hugely important habitat for birds and for a wonderful range of other wildlife. In winter, you can expect to see flocks of tufted duck, potchard, shoveler and teal. And year round, it's habitat for birds like grey heron, great crested grebe, which breed here. And right now, in early spring, we're witnessing a passage of little gulls. And above me, the sky is full of sand martins, house martins and swallows migrating home from Africa. The very best thing about Thorpe Marshes is that it is an easy walk from the centre of the city of Norwich, meaning that anybody can visit. It's also the start of the wonderful network of nature reserves along the Yare Valley and connecting with the whole of the Broads landscape. So why not pop down for a visit? Because for you, it can be the beginning of an adventure exploring the Broads and its wonderful wildlife. Because even if you live in one of the busiest towns or cities in Norfolk, Nature is always nearer than you think. <laughs>